Let me test out some dunking now that I've tested out the shooting on this player. Let's see if Kobe Bryant can dunk on every, anyone. Woo! The Kobe just dunked on Draymond Green. Okay. Hall of Fame contact finisher is absolutely insane. Kobe Bryant build is a demi. What is up, everybody? In today's video, we have the ultimate Kobe Bryant build in NBA 2K20. I put him left-handed because I think left-handed shooters are better in NBA 2K20. I don't actually know which hand he is. He's ambidextrous. He can shoot with either hand and dribble with the other hand. So I'm going to put Kobe Bryant as left-handed. Now, the physical profile, I'm going to put it at the best speed with the best vertical as possible. Strength does not really matter when making the physical profile for a shooting guard. Well, now, let's set his potential. Now, what I'm going to do with this player, I'm going to max out his mid-range. I'm going to max out his three ball straight away. I'm going to max out his close shot, layup, and dunk. Now, the problem with this player right here, right now, right here, he's got an 83 with an 80 mid-range, okay? Kobe Bryant is a great shooter. He's possibly one of the greatest shooters, if not the greatest scorer in NBA history, scoring 81 points in a game on Jalen Rose's head, making Jalen Rose look like an absolute bump. Heckable inside player. You can dunk. He can lay up on any player. He said he posterized Dwight Howard. Put his nuts all on Dwight Howard's face, man. His defense is A1. He's made a whole bunch of all NBA teams on the defensive end and offensive end. Now with the height, I am going to put him 6 foot 5 only for the video purposes. But online on Google, I do believe he is 6 foot 6. But on Google, everyone's tossing up between 6 foot 5 and 6 foot 6. So I'm going to put 6 foot 5 for the better attributes for this player. Putting 212 pounds because that's the last time he was weighed wearing a Lakers uniform. So we're going to go with that expect that weight for this player. Wingspan, no, I had a lot of time. I was sitting there for like 20 minutes, not even like 10, 20 minutes looking at the wingspan. And I have figured out that the 78.9 wingspan, inch wingspan, fits this player the best. You get plus two in three ball midi and ball handling, as well as post moves plus one. You do lose a little bit of steel and put minus one on block which you won't even notice in the whole scheme of this build because this build is, I don't know if it's going to say the best build, but it fits Kobe Bryant the best. And I'll put this in my top three guard builds when I make one when the game fully comes out. Now for the takeover, I've been saying this since my last build. The shock creator grand badge is the best grand badge in the game. The sharpshooter grand badge doesn't feel like it's going to be the most overpowered one in this game. Same with the playmaker one for the guards. Now, the similarities are James Harden, Bradley Beal, and Jerry Stackhouse, scoring machine. Now, if you want the Kobe Bryant similarity, you need the two-way playmaker to have the Kobe Bryant build in NBA 2K20. Now, these are the badges I settled on for the shooting. I have a lot of badges. I tossed up and down with this. I put Rain Extender, Quick Draw, and Volume Shooter Silver, Steady Shooter, Difficult Shots Gold, and I put Dead Eye Hall of Fame. Now, with the finishing badges, I'm going to have like four, three to four Hall of Fame badges because Kobe Bryant is impeccable inside the game, as I said before, as well as outside. Put the gold difficult shots, because you know he can hit shots over anyone and on any fadeaway, especially in the post with his shimmy fade in the post, like Michael Jordan can post move on any player in the NBA. He's like a big post. This build is basically a three-point shooting, slashing, defending post scorer in this game. Last year, he was a shock rating post scorer. This game, he's an all-around all scoring machine. Hall of Fame, Silvery Finisher, Acrobat, Contact Finisher, and Giant Slayer, as well as Gold, Fancy Footwork for Kobe Bryant. Now we have 16 upgrades for the playmaking badges to play with. Now you guys can toss up and turn which badges you want to put for Kobe Bryant. Personal preference for a lot of them. But I feel like the last set of badges I showed you, showed you, the inside badges are what you should go with. Same with the shooting badges. Now the defensive badges, you only get one after I'm going to show you in a second. Now, the playmaking badges are the hardest one for this build because I did put Ankle Breaker on him, but I do believe Ankle Breaker will not be as overpowered as it was last year and maybe a little bit nerfed. But now we have Gold Ankle Breaker, Gold Tight Handles, Gold Stop and Go, Gold Space Creator. You already know I have to put Space Creator on Kobe Bryant. Gold First, one quick first step. Uh, bronze Unpluckable. I've also got, I have to put handles for days on him though. That's the only problem with this. I might have to chuck some down to silver, which I'm going to chuck down ankle breaker down to silver because we need we need handles for days because Kobe Bryant's going to have the ball in his hands a lot. Now, you can either put clamps or intimidator. For this build, I did put clamps. I highly recommend putting in intimidator because if you put Kobe Bryant any play in NBA history, he's going to intimidate the heck out of him and make him miss every single time. 
Now, if you want another build, or you want, I'm gonna, I've got a couple of that videos coming out. If this gets 20 likes, I'll break down how badges work in NBA 2K20, what they actually do, how they help you play, and are they worth it to which, to which specific player type that you are, as well as which takeover is the best takeover. I'm gonna rank them because I know what exactly they all do. At the moment, I do feel like for the guards, the shot creating grand badge is the best. But I'm gonna leave you guys with some gameplay. Watch it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, share, subscribe if you are new or to return. Catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Put the description for my social. So catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn the post notification bell on for daily uploads and daily streams in 2K20. Peace.